My name is Terry Robnett. I'm 57 years old and I'm a medical marijuana patient here in Colorado. What that means is that I've been to a doctor who has reviewed my medical records and given me an exam and determined that medical marijuana might benefit the um, condition and the symptoms from the condition that I suffer from. In 1987 I was in a car accident that triggered fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia is generally considered to be a chronic pain condition, but it also has components of chronic fatigue, um, digestive issues, insomnia, anxiety, and cognitive issues and fibro fog. And when I was trying to medicate with um, uh, pharmaceuticals, I was on a variety of different medications to control these different symptoms. And there was always a concern about side effects and also drug interactions. In 2009, I started using cannabis to control my fibromyalgia, and in 2011, quit my last pharmaceutical and now use cannabis exclusively to manage the symptoms for my fibro. And the reason that I did that is because that cannabis enables me to adjust and self-titrate as the symptoms for my condition change um, from season to season, from year to year, and even from day to day. Um, chronic conditions can be susceptible to um, stress, to diet, to changes in weather, to hormones, etc. And so the experience of a condition isn't necessarily the same from day to day or even from patient to patient. But by varying the way that I, com uh, the way that I consume cannabis and the strains that I use, I'm able to effectively manage the symptoms that come from fibromyalgia. For example, I rely quite a bit on edibles. At night before I go to bed, I will smoke or vaporize a little cannabis because it gets into my system and acts quickly, but it also stops acting quickly. So I also do an edible um, before I go to bed, something on the indica or the sleepy side of the spectrum. And that way, when the, the smoked or vaporized cannabis wears off, the edible kicks in and keeps me asleep. And I find that if I can get a good night's sleep, I am so much better with my fibro the next day. And then if I need something during the day, I'll choose something maybe more high in CBD, something with a little bit more energy and focus that helps me um, control my pain to keep my mind clear and give me some energy to get through the day. And the beauty of this is that I can do all of this and I never have to worry about side effects or drug interactions because essentially it's all the same drug. Now, with, with a medical marijuana license, what that enables me to do is I can shop at a, st at a medical marijuana store, or of course, since I'm over 21, I can shop at a recreational store. But I can also grow cannabis at home um, for medicinal reasons, or I can engage the help of a caregiver to help me uh, cultivate my cannabis and also to make um, tinctures and different things that I may need for my condition. So it gives me a, a great um, variety of access, which is really important to patients. Now that I've been using cannabis um, to control fibromyalgia, I'm much more engaged in my community. I'm much happier. I have more time and can spend um, more quality time with my grandkids. And I'm just a much better community member rather than either being in pain or having to deal with negative side effects that um, came from pharmaceuticals. So for me, being able to self-titrate and to be able to control my symptoms myself with cannabis has been the most effective and the most efficient way of dealing with my fibromyalgia symptoms that I've found in the 28 years that I've experienced this condition.